So in this episode of Snow White with the Red Hair, we have a little drunk Shiryuki, and she was just so adorable and cute, you know, yelling at the horses, and yeah, she was just so dang cute. But, you know, with this episode of Snow White with the Red Hair, it was a, you know, it was just a lot smaller episode, I feel like, where it focused more on the characters, and then, you know, that's the thing about this show, uh, or this anime, is that, you know, it's more character-driven than, like, story-driven, because, you know, it's dealing with, you know, Zen as a prince, Shiryuki as, you know, as a herb, and, you know, try not to conflict with Zen, you know, obviously you see that Shiryuki, she hides a lot of things, and actually most of the character hides a lot of things, like, Obi, Zen, and Shiryuki herself, they all hide stuff, but with, with Shiryuki specifically, you know, she kind of, she's that person that hides things, but, you know, she hides it, like, behind her smile. We also have Zen this episode, and we see more of his flashbacks, now apparently, or from what I'm hearing or and reading is that, you know, Zen during the flashbacks was 13 years old, and then up to now he's 19, so that's why he was, you know, he was okay to drink alcohol, like, I was about this, I don't know what the Japanese law is, you know, for character, or for, you know, young adults to, like, when they have, when, like, they're coming of age to allow to drink alcohol legally, but, you know, that happened, and plus it's, it's a fantasy world, so I don't think it really matters too much, but other than that, you know, we see Zen, he has a moment with Mitsu, uh, Hide, just talking about, you know, let me be, like, Mitsu Hide being, like, in order for you to, you know, become a good prince and all that, whatnot, you have to be able to trust people and, you know, have, like, friends that you can trust by your side, and, you know, that's what Mitsu Hide promised, he was gonna be like, I'll stay by you so I could become a better person, and we see up to now, and even Aizana, uh, mentions this is that even though it took a while, but Zen has finally surrounded him with friends and people that he can trust. Not only that, Zen has a nice talk with Obi over a drink or two, and you know, they just you know have a good bro moment right there, and you know, just talking about how you know Obi is now the official messenger for the for the second prince of Clareness, I believe that's the land that he's prince of. And one last thing I want to mention before I end this review, I know it's a short one. I mean, like I said. Most of this episode was, you know, character-driven stuff, so that's all good and stuff. Uh, but if you watch the ending all the way through, at the very end, there shows a new girl. I don't know if she's a woman or a girl, but she, we see her make eye contact with Obi, and so maybe Obi will find a love interest so he doesn't have to, you know, be fall in love with Shiryuki, and then we'll have this, this like, weird, complicated shoujo love triangle. But my overall thoughts on this episode was that it was great because, you know, it's character driven and, you know, so, some things like, like anime sp specifically is like sometimes they don't give the characters the time that they need and, you know, sometimes that, you know, hurts out in the long run. But, you know, we get the characters out of the way and then if the, if you know, if the author or the whatever people, you know, want to, you know, help build the character, they can usually do it with the plot now they got like a good foundation for the characters, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below. I'll see you guys all next time. So until then, bye-bye.